If a natural disaster strikes or there's a terrorist attack, WA has a special task force ready to help save lives. In this 7 News exclusive, Angela Sun joined our urban search and rescue team and discovered why they're the nation's leaders in emergency response. They're our state's best firefighters and paramedics. Rescue team above. Can anyone hear me? Trained to search for and free people trapped under rubble after a cyclone, earthquake or even a terrorist attack. We've got someone down here. The urban search and rescue team regularly put their own lives on the line. Here you see how they put their training into action, saving a woman from her Northcliffe property engulfed in the horrific fires earlier this year. Joel Moore, a special ops paramedic, and two of his teammates went in. You couldn't leave someone in, in, in the face of something like that and not try your best to try and get them out. It was one of the hottest fires I've ever been that close to. The pair say it was hard to breathe and see in the thick smoke. There's also a team of specially trained dogs that can help find a victim that may be trapped inside or underneath a collapsed building. And Western Australia is the only state to have a canine team integrated with its USAR task force. Zena is eight years old and has been part of the team since a puppy. And she's no ordinary dog. Trained for two years for things like this, abseiling, climbing ladders and sniffing out a casualty buried in rubble. This is the headquarters of the Department of Fire and Emergency Services, DFES. Real life training every month to keep their skills at their peak. We have a casualty, require a paramedic of it. Tough work, but they love what they do. They're saving someone's life's definitely one of those joys of the job. Angela Sun, 7 News.